Today, the crew of next year's Artemis II mission spoke to reporters in Florida. They've been training and are about to take their first steps inside the spacecraft that will carry them around the moon and back on a 10-day journey next year. And we really think that Artemis is, a, is the right program at the right time uh, to get a sustained human presence on around the moon and off to Mars. And we believe in it. So we're going to go fly Artemis II. We're going to proceed with this mission. We're going to execute as perfectly as we can for the team on the ground. We're going to make them proud. Uh, we're going to make the whole nation and the world proud. Well, I want to bring in CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood, who was at the press conference today. Bill, you asked some good questions there, specifically about some concerns about the heat shields. Do you think that could impact the launch timeline? I don't think so, because NASA carried out an independent review of some heat shield problems that cropped up during the first Artemis flight. That was an unpiloted version. Uh, they did have some problems with that heat shield, but they, the analysis says that the Artemis II crew should be okay. They've changed the reentry trajectory slightly to mean less heat, less sustained heat on that heat shield when they come back to Earth. Uh, and so they're convinced it's going to be okay. And of course, Reed Weissman, the commander who was just talking, uh, he said they have full faith in that review. Uh, they're very familiar with the details. They understand the problem, and they think it's an acceptable risk. So I don't think that's going to have any impact on the launch, although there are some people out in the world who have looked at this and disagree. Uh, but for now, they're pressing ahead, and as from everything we hear, uh, they're in good shape for launching as early as February of next year. All right, well, that's good to hear. Now, we're later, we're going to hear from the Crew-11, who they're scheduled to launch the International Space Station tomorrow. What can you tell us about that launch? No, it's a little bit interesting. This is the next long-duration crew going up to the space station. And if you remember last year, in the midst of all the problems with the Boeing Starliner, with two of those astronauts who got, quote, stranded, close quote, aboard the uh, space station, they bumped two members from a Crew Dragon crew to make the seats available to bring those Starliner astronauts back. One of those astronauts was the commander, Zena Cardman, and she's now going to be the commander of this Crew 11 mission that's launching tomorrow. So uh, that's, a, that's a big thing to her. She's finally going to get her chance to fly in space. Absolutely. Okay. Bill, thank you so much for your insight. Appreciate your concerns or the questions about concerns as well.